Oh my God. U.S. Ants fans, you won't believe what I found out this week. If you've been following along so far, you know that I recently started keeping ants. I have two queens, Hephaestia and Demeter. Demeter's still in her claustral phase, so she won't be making any cameos in this video, and Hephaestia's ready for all the attention. But this video isn't all good news. So prepare yourselves, U.S. Ants fans, because we're about to go on an emotional roller coaster in this week's Colony Update. But before we do, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you can get all the updates of my two colonies in the future. Let's dive right in. Meet Hephaestia, the queen of my Campanatus Pennsylvanicus colony. She's a hopeful widow looking to the future. She has plans on expanding from her tiny test tube founding chamber into a much bigger world. She's a single independent queen and don't need a man for anything. To tell the truth, every ant you see here is a female. After all, male ants are only good for one thing, and beyond that, who run the world? If you guess girls, ding ding, you're right. In most species of ant, the queen is the only fertile one. Some ant species have the ability to function without a queen, which is amazing, but we'll save that for a later date. Today is, after all, all about Hephaestus colony, and since her daughters can't do that, that makes her irreplaceable. And before you ask, no, I am not about to do Beyonce themed lines throughout this whole video. When she came to me, Hephaestia already has six workers. Here's three, and one more. Wait, what's that? No, ant fans, it looks like we already lost some workers. Two, in fact. I can't believe this is happening. It's too early to be losing anybody. I wonder what could have caused this. Obviously, this isn't happening in real time. I've already had time to search the net for any possible reasons as to why these two girls didn't make it. Luckily for me, the ant community is a very helpful place. After doing research, I was left with two possible conclusions. I wasn't trying to scare her, and as you can see, she didn't get too flustered when I removed the test tube graveyard. This little beauty right here, though, is a special one. If there were a co-star to Hephaestus superstar, this ant would be her. Every time I feed them, she's the first one out of the founding tube. It's like she has no fear. She's my little daredevil. I've decided to call her Scout because she's obviously the Scout of the colony. How do I know it's her every time? Well, if you look closely, you can see that she only has one antenna. That makes her very recognizable. I'm not sure if having one diminishes her sense of smell in any way, but it definitely doesn't stop her from foraging for food. If you have some insight on this, feel free to let me know in the comments section below. I didn't catch it on camera, but Scout ran back and told her sisters there was a buffet outside and it was free. I guess she heard there was chili outside and grabbed a bowl. <laughs> okay, enough with the bad jokes. She lays down a pheromone trail to do this. It doesn't take long before another one comes out to grab a plate for the rest of the family. Yeah, I did it again. I'm a trash human. I never see more than two of them outside of the chamber at a time though, so I'm assuming that the other two that stay behind are handmaidens to the queen or maybe nurses for the eggs and larvae. It's crazy how ants have their own social structure. It's pretty basic now, but I can't wait to see what it'll look like when I have hundreds. I imagine there'll be ants assigned just to eggs, others to larvae, others to pupa, and even ones just on garbage duty. There'll of course be scouts, and the majors will be there to help break down any tough shells. Stop. Slow down, Alonzo. Breathe. Whew. Sorry, I got a little sidetracked there. I told you this would be a roller coaster. Anyway, back to the question at hand. What could have killed these workers? Here are my possible conclusions. One, because I didn't catch a Festia, there's no way for me to know exactly how old she is or her nanitics. I have no way of knowing if they were taken from a multi-queen colony that was already established either. They have recently come out of hibernation according to the vendor. Maybe these two were the oldest and simply died from old age. This is not my likely conclusion, however. I'm not so sure about Campanatus pennsylvanicus, but I read that some carpenter ants can live for up to seven years, and that's the workers. The queens live a lot longer. I doubt this colony is anywhere that old. If they are, I'd be expecting a lot more workers. The second and most likely conclusion is because of me. That's right, U.S. Ants fans. I'm blaming myself. I put in a vial of sugar water for the ants to provide carbohydrates last week and left it there for a few days. According to the web, sugar water goes bad after a few days and it can start to ferment. That means that these deaths were most likely caused by me and my neglect. I feel so bad. 
I immediately removed the sugar water and instead gave them a drop of honey. You see, honey is antibacterial, so I don't have to worry about it causing any harmful outbreaks in my colony. I've also resorted to using small pieces of fruit and only drops of sugar water. Once the colony gets big enough to drain a test tube before it goes bad, I'll reconsider giving them that much. On a brighter note, Hafesha's already laid more eggs since my last video. She keeps them covered with her body, so it's kind of hard to show on camera without disturbing her too much, which is something I do not want to do since she's doing her part to secure the future of the colony. And a very special thank you needs to go out to all of you. Your help this week reminded me that though I may be the one who's physically keeping these ants, this is a team effort. I get the opportunity to work with you. With our knowledge and Hephaestus egg laying, I feel like the security of the colony's future is in good hands. I'll be sure to keep you posted with any new info that I get, and I'm still new to this, so any help that you have will be great. If you have any, leave some tips down in the comment section below, or just let me know what kind of content you'd like to see, and I'll try to get it for you. As always, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more exciting discoveries on U.S. Ants. Bye!